in the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. And when you have those leaves, you can balance the black everywhere. Then it always camouflages nicely and somebody can't go, oh, there's the cover-up. It's very beautiful and technically it is pretty perfect. Morning, everybody. You have six hours to complete your tattoo. The judges will be looking for highly imaginative art that turns bad work into something your canvases can be proud of. This is gonna be awesome, man. We're gonna do something really beautiful for you. The rules of thumb when approaching a cover-up are you're not covering a tattoo. What you're doing is you're actually camouflaging it. The darks are always gonna be there. The black's certainly always gonna be there. So what you're trying to do is work with what's there and make something brand new for the person. It's a good choice for a cover-up because it's lighter. There's no bold, dark outlines on it. All ready? Are you happy with it? Yeah. It looks awesome. Awesome. Made you go to koi fish. I've always wanted one, and it just never happened. You know, I do realistic type stuff. The koi fish itself, I'm confident with it. I traced the cover-up. The bulk of the body falls right over top of it. The only challenge for me right now is to get it done in six hours, you know? I lay down 90% of my clients just to make them comfortable and feel at ease throughout the whole entire tattoo, and that helps so much. Tommy, come on up front. It was definitely tricky. And even in the parts where the former tattoo might show a little bit, you put wispy lines to help make it look like there's stuff going on there. Shane. You got to cover up a pretty faded tattoo to begin with. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Tattoo is clean, precise, smooth. The tattoo is solid, the cover up works, but the actual artwork didn't line up. The head is much bigger than the tail. The tail's not big enough to propel the head. You didn't hit the mark. Tommy and Shane, why do you think you two are standing here? Hopefully commend us a little bit for putting out a good effort. I would hope to think that not getting eliminated yet. Good news is you guys are in the top two. And Tommy, the judges feel that you did the best work. Thank you. He really worked a design to fit right over top. Nice job. Thank you, Chris. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your ingenuity by tattooing a cover-up. You have six hours, and your time starts now. You ready for this? Definitely. Ingenuity is very necessary to be able to do a cover-up. There's a lot of different elements, understanding the positioning of the tattoo, and being able to disperse light and dark evenly, so it's not so obvious where the cover-up is. Let me show you where to go. My canvas wants a Celtic cross with a dragon wrapped around it. And I took those key elements and kind of combined them into something that would be a little bit better. This is going to start off black and gray, but as it fades yeah, out, yeah. you see right here, it's going to go into all those reds and everything like that, dude. It's amazing. The judges want you to think outside of the box and come up with a creative way to get rid of a tattoo. Not only did I do that, but I have also created a better design than what the guy originally wanted. I have to win this one. I have to. This week, you were asked to tattoo a cover-up. We're testing your ingenuity. Sarah. This guy didn't necessarily have a specific design in mind. He really liked my paintings, so that was the first thing I kind of focused on. Her face is so realistic, and the detail in the eye leads me to believe that you could have detailed those fingers out. Clint. How do you feel about this? It's a horse with wings, and it was dumb, so I gave him something badass. You really stepped up to the plate of this challenge and went yard. You totally blew our mind and made an idea 10 times better. Jesse, you're up. Were you happy to get this canvas? I was happy at the fact that he was open to whatever. It was a big mess of a cover up. I think you did a pretty good job masking that. I'm not typically a new school guy, but I like what you've done. Are you gonna do anything else this ride? Definitely. And the person who's gonna cash the check is the person that can do anything that walks into the shop, you're going to have to show other stuff. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jesse. Undeniably, you did the smoothest, cleanest, biggest, baddest tattoo of the day. 
and you deserve the victory. Thank you. Today, you must cover up a prison tattoo, proving your flexibility. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time begins now. Get it on. Do it, man. Tattoo Baby is doing a nice tattoo, other than the fact that the finger is not attached to the hand and it has arthritis. She spent a whole season hearing that the fingers are one of the most important things. Don't f them up. She should know better. This week, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover prison tattoos. Craig. My client, one of the badass eagle man. What happens in this tattoo for me is that it's flat. These colors aren't popping as hard as they could because there's no black. Had you have put black, it would look that much more dynamic. You have the ability to do a really tough looking tattoo and you obviously can draw. You have a winning combination, you gotta put it to practice. Jimmy. Were you happy with your cover up? Part of the challenge is being flexible. For what I had to do, I think I did good. You did achieve the cover up. The white, that was the thing that threw me for a loop. To pump this much white in there, most of the time, this will turn into almost a keloid looking result. I tried to get rid of all that heavy black area because I didn't want it to look like a giant eight ball. A year down the road, it will not have the same brilliance that it has today. People need to understand that that's not what they're gonna have for the rest of their life. Tattoo baby. You got a lot to live up to in this competition, but you're gonna give a lot of people a hard time. So let the battle begin. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Tattoo Baby. Even with the misanatomy of the hand, you did a very beautiful tattoo. Smooth shading, nice color, really good job. Thank you. You have six hours to show adaptability with a cover-up. Your time begins now. Let's do this. All right. There you go. You know, when I saw that sketch, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the type of effect I want to make. My goal today is definitely to outperform Scott and Maddie. Yeah, bud. Now, when the competition's getting tough, that's when I plan on shining. I'm going to stomp this tattoo. Awesome, dude. Thanks, Wing. Oh. You OK? Oh, good. $100,000 tattoo right here. Hell yeah! That's it. Wow. That's badass, dude. Oh my god. You badass or what? That is awesome. Today, you had to show adaptability by transforming tattoos that your canvases regret into tattoos they can wear proudly. Based on your work, two artists will be closing shop. Halo. As far as the cover-up goes, you had it easy. But this tattoo has such solid saturation over a big area of skin. And whether it's a cover-up or not, this is a great tattoo. You did a great job applying this. This is soft tissue. It can get overworked. It can look beat up. Yours looks healed. Scott. It was one of the bigger tattoos to cover up. I think you approached it the right way with the hot tones away from where the cover up is. If I looked at this tattoo, I wouldn't even think it was a cover up. People can shake their heads or do whatever they want behind you, but the tattoo's damn good, and a lot of people that are shaking their heads aren't. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. Scott and Halo. You have the top two tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Halo. Good job. Halo, the saturation you used in this tattoo, the way you pulled off the solid fields of blue, very nice. Did a great job. Congratulations, Halo. All right, artists, you have six hours to do your tattoos. This is your last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the live finale. Your time begins now. Let's do it, man. The biggest thing is going to be working with the existing piece that you have, Okay. trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm going to retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is going to go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. 
The Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is gonna beat my tattoo today. Wouldn't be a tattoo if it didn't hurt like <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've been kicking ass this whole time. I gotta just keep doing what I'm doing. No pain, no gain. When I'm done with this tattoo, you're not gonna tell it's a cover-up, and it's gonna be screaming Scott Marshall all over it. I'm doing something bold by putting a lot of bright canary yellow into this piece to really just push it over the top. Saucy. Have you seen uh, Scott's and Daddy's? Scott's, you can still see the cover-up right through it. Oh, no. Using yellow as a cover-up is a huge no-no because you can still see the old piece underneath it. This might be enough to send his ass home. Yeah. Take a look. Wow. Oh, it is amazing. Holy Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Sausage, you reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover-up and built in a ton of black didn't make sense, so I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself, and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually gonna be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big bright flowers, now I'm gonna do this really fine line detail and really show some nice soft black and gray is top notch. Scott. Overall, the color palette is strong, really solid, clean application. It has your signature all over it. Up close, you can definitely see the Nautical Star ghost outline through there. If this could have been moved over just a little bit to keep that out of that yellow lip, that would have been better. No matter where I moved it, it was poking out here and poking out there, so. But you know yellow's not covering. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. All right, guys, you have six hours to help your canvases make a fresh start by covering up a hate tattoo. And your time starts now. Tickets ass. There you go. Today, these artists are going to be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, what yeah, I'm I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. Ingenuity is always going to play into the cover up. You should never be able to pick out a section where you know the cover up is. That's the biggest fail. When I saw it from across the room, I was like, I see a flower right there. The canvas I gave myself was probably one of the hardest cover-ups in there because it's so big. But I know that I can cover anything with a flower. I do flowers all the time, so it wasn't really far stretch. I've designed all the petals to curl in right around that circular shape as part of the anarchy symbol. I can just kind of keep all my darks on the tips, and I can use the shadows that are already there. Yeah. Everybody knows it's going to get a really nice tattoo. Let's get this over with, and let me get to the damn finale. Trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got tattoo, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to come off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody gonna beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. James, you're up first. You chose a pretty large cover-up for yourself. First thing I saw was a floral pattern that would fit her and just get rid of that huge tattoo without being really dark. You've given this woman something very feminine, something very beautiful. Of the day, this woman's life has been transformed more dramatically than anybody else, and she has you to thank for it. 
there are some lines that are less than perfect in here, especially in these top flowers on the outside. There's some areas where you have just packed white all the way up to those lines, and the lines that are crooked and the lines that are shaky, it makes them really stand out. But something like this, with this much detail, close inspection, you're gonna find a lot of discrepancies. Feeling confident about putting this many lines into this type of skin in this area, knowing that you're up against six hours was a ballsy move. This panned out for you in that sense. You definitely achieved the cover-up, the shading that you have going from dark to light, you disperse it throughout. And that way, it's not an obvious cover-up. It's a strong tattoo, and it's a lot of tattooing in a short amount of time. Anthony. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. Judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. Oh, your skin takes ink like butter. Oh, good. I came into this competition needing to prove exactly who I am. And with every single day that I'm here, I get more and more comfortable in my own skin. Are you coming to Fort Lauderdale handcrafter or what? I hope oh. so. Dude. Now's my time to shine and prove that I can win time and time again. So with these flowers, going for the other side now. What color are you doing them? I'm going for red, because that way uh -huh. I can do the butterfly blue and that blue little one that you got here to match with the other one. Oh, OK. And then you got like hot and cold. This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy's definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover-up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover-up. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Nikki, let's start with you. In the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. And when you have those leaves, you can balance the black everywhere. Then it always camouflages nicely, and somebody can't go, oh, there's the cover-up. It's very beautiful, and technically, it is pretty perfect. There's no trace of the existing tattoo, and that was a massive tattoo that you covered up. Great job. Thanks. Kelly. This does not look like a cover-up on any level. This is my favorite tattoo from you so far. The color palette is very nice. It's laid out very well, but where you really excel in this tattoo is your technical application. Not very many people can create these shadows that well, pull off these tones that well. I think it's perfect. Your technical application is flawless in this. Gian. Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. He covered up every bad design and line of this tattoo with a new beautiful line and design of a tattoo. And the quality and the technical application of which he applied this whole tattoo is amazing. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Kelly's tricks outweigh Gian's. Let's look at Nikki's tattoo and look at what she covered, because that's a full-on cover-up. It is. And that's a full-on beautiful tattoo. It is. Robert, which way are you leaning? I'm leaning on Nikki. My vote is for Kelly. I believe you hit the challenge. I believe your artistry's on point. Looks pretty technically sound to me. Chris. I'm with Nikki. 
It was a large cover-up, and she laid it out perfectly and executed it like a champ. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Nikki. Thank you. All right, artist, you have six hours to tattoo a cover-up, and your time starts now. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> Today we're testing detail, and the way that detail works in cover-ups is understanding how to actually create a cover-up that doesn't look like one. Wow. I don't want to see big black or dark spots, and they don't need to do a tattoo six times bigger than the cover-up to make it disappear. Woo! Look at those crispy lines. Those lines look good. I hope so. There's a lot of them. The most difficult aspect of this tattoo is just getting it done in six hours because the cover-up itself will be the body of the owl and then proportionally the wings are going to have to be this big. I'm taking a huge risk right now and if it doesn't pay off, I'm going to be Today you had to tattoo a cover-up. Men's team, let's start with you. Jason. It's a very intimidating tattoo to try to cover up. You do a great job really punching in the blacks. A lot of detail, not only with line work, but with your directional shading. That thing was so faded out that your light shading pretty much becomes that same tone that's underneath, so it's very easy to camouflage. I think you gave this guy a reason to take his shirt off again. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Laura. It's a really clean sticker tattoo for me. As far as it's serving for a cover-up, it definitely does its job. As impressive as the tattoo is, I've seen it a bunch of times. But soon enough, you're going to have to. Oh, I'll give you something else, trust me. I'll send you a letter from the finale. It'll probably be pretty cool there. Good job, Laura. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Head back to the loft.